land use, environmental science, you know, green design build firm. So anything having to do with environmental issues associated with land use, whether you're dealing with builders or developers or just private you know, residential homes, uh, we're usually uh, the folks that get called. First, I had met Cortland you know, several years ago uh, as part of a business networking uh, group that we both belong to. <clears throat> and my type of business uh, doesn't lend itself well to traditional print advertising. So I had been uh, experimenting with uh, blogs and white papers through my uh, website and was getting some pretty good response. So I was thinking of you know, dipping my toes a little further into the world of social media uh, through Facebook or uh, Twitter, uh, but didn't really know that much about it. And since Cortland uh, seems kind of an interesting guy to chat with, we uh, struck up a conversation and uh, started bouncing around some ideas of how we might be able to put together a social media non-traditional uh, you know, marketing strategy. And we, look, we probably spent three or four months you know, beating things around. And that's kind of how we got started you know, working on it. When we started and exploring some of the different types of uh, social media that we could utilize uh, to get our message across, uh, imagery is a big part you know, of what we do because it's very difficult to describe it in words. And this is where Cortland and his team really excelled in being able to steer us towards uh, things that we just weren't aware of, like Flickr, uh, to load all of our still imagery uh, for specific projects. Uh, YouTube, uh, we'd heard of it, but really weren't aware of how to use it uh, for some of the video testimonials that we would get from some of our clients or educational pieces, uh, right down to some of your hardcore, you know, just Facebook applications. Just the opportunities in social media are just almost limitless. Um, Cortland recommended uh, we take some of the written letters of recommendation that we get from our clients, which we get pretty much after every job, and why don't we do a video testimonial about that? And I said, oh, that might be too expensive. I don't think we'll be able to get that done in my budget. Uh, but the way that he was structuring it and packaging it actually worked out pretty well. Anywhere from a you know, 60 second to two minute little testimonial where we fade in and out different pictures of the project that the testimonial giver was uh, talking about. Uh, turned out to be a very powerful, powerful piece. Uh, we embed that stream. <clears throat> it's actually uh, hosted on YouTube and embedded in some of the Twitter feed that we put out there and on Facebook. Uh, we can literally get uh, 30 to 50 different tweets you know, out of any particular project. And as a matter of fact, just the other day, we had someone contact us uh, regarding real estate testimony submissions, and I asked them how they found us, and they said, I, found, I saw the video. And I was like, wow, that's pretty impressive stuff when you hear it directly from a customer, you know, how they found you. So it uh, just drives my competitors crazy. They all sit here and look at what we're doing, and when they ask, uh, like when clients ask, I need some references, and I give a sheet of references, but I also have links to the video testimonials just put you in a whole new category all together. It's nothing better than having a client tell you, tell your clients what a great job you did for them. So it's uh, like someone else is selling for you. If someone was to ask me about uh, Cortland and Coleman Communications and uh, what I might be able to find beneficial about working with them, I'd say um, just trust your gut. When you meet with Cortland and the way he lays out the types of projects that he feels would be beneficial for what you're doing, uh, there's definitely a sense of understanding about your business that you'll get from him that you won't get from anybody else. Uh, you don't know what you're doing, he does, and he'll definitely put you at ease uh, when you get started with him. You know, we started a, a newsletter ourselves, and uh, to be honest, I just couldn't put it together to, to save my life. Uh, but when we mentioned it to Cortland, and he said, let me show you some different ways we can go about this. Uh, and embedding the video stream and the Flickr pictures and tying everything into our blogs on our, on our website. Uh, it turns out to be a very, very powerful little newsletter. And uh, I think uh, if you're looking for something like that, definitely you'd want to give them a try. Marketing these days uh, seems to be changing by leaps and bounds. Uh, it's, I don't seem to see uh, anything being more powerful than you know, anything else, but I think we have more opportunities now to get complex messages out to the media uh, or just to the general public uh, and to enable them to find the best opportunities to help them solve some of their problems. Uh, the whole social media opportunity is just growing by leaps and bounds. 
I definitely do a lot of tweeting and Facebooking myself, but partnering with an outfit like Coleman Communications uh, will definitely keep you abreast of all the changes that are happening uh, since I have a hard enough time just running my own business. So I highly recommend it.